Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial we are going to learn about uh, connecting to SQL Server in Python. So for that we need a driver called uh, PyODBC. So first we will install that. So for that you have to come to this uh, terminal and uh, use uh, pip install uh, PYODBC and press enter so it will take some time and install the um, driver I've already installed it so I'll import it directly so I'll import import uh, PYODBC as uh, ODBC con and uh, now down here I'll create a variable called connection is equal to uh, odbc con dot uh, connect and now here we will pass in the connection string so for that I will go to to pass in the connection string then we will make changes to it so I'll go to this uh, browser and in this uh, stake workflow site I'll copy this because I'm too lazy to type all this so I'll copy this and then I will change the database name and the server name so I'll come here and control V this and now uh, uh, I have to change the server name so for that I'll come here and uh, disconnect this and uh, I'll copy this this is the server name copy which is uh, I paste it control Z and now I'll copy this copy and now I'll go to this and here I will change the server name you can use your own now uh, then I will go here connect and let me show you the database so I'm going to connect to this database and uh, I'm going to read uh, uh, for records from this cases file uh, table so this is the database name subdirectory so i'll copy it from here copy and now i'll go to this and uh, i'll change the database name here and control v this and now i'll enter here and go backspace and here i'll create a variable cursor so uh, cursor equals connection dot cursor and uh, I'll create a cursor dot execute and uh, here I will pass in the uh, query select uh, static from cases and now down here I will use for loop for row and cursor do what print each row so you say single quotes row equals dot percent R and here outside I will use percent and now row comma and now let's execute this and let's see if it is working so if I run this by clicking on this run button now you can see that it is fetching the records and showing it here now you can see all the records here you can see this is row fir and uh, then this number then date time this is date time and this all these records are uh, direct are uh, selected from database and shown here so that's all part today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you